So, mood swings. Um, what are they? <laughs> Why do we have them? Why do we experience them? And what actually causes them? What is the root cause? Why do we even have mood swings? So, what causes it, basically? So, um, in today's video, we're going to talk about all of that. Um, this video was inspired by Edward. Thank you so very much for um, you know telling me or asking me to do a video on mood swings and all of that. So um, if you also want me to do a video on something related to what I talk about, um, or anything or in mental health, emotional wellness, mindset, basically you can let me know in the comments. You can also reach out to me on WhatsApp. Um, have my number and or just in the comments and you know if it's a question you want to ask and you turn it into a video I could also do the same if it's more around things that I talk about. So in today's video I'm going to talk about everything or all things or some things you would say. <laughs> Hi my name is Juliet Israel. I happen to be a mindset coach. Yeah. I share content on all things we need to the mindset, uh, emotional wellness, emotional well-being all of this to help you upgrade your mind, which will ultimately help you upgrade your life, your business, your finances. So if you love content on this things, subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so that you are notified of my next video the next time that I drop one. So in today's video, I'm talking about mood swings. So firstly, what are mood swings? So mood swings are um, like the name mood. Mood is basically the way that we feel, the emotions that we emit, how we, we react to things, the, the kind of um, feelings, when, when something happens, how we feel towards it. And swings is just like Jambulova. <laughs> what did I just say? Well, you, I, if you're Nigerian, you probably know what Jambulova is. You know, and there's this um, swing, you know, something that, you know, it's not, it's not stable, but it kind of like swings, right? So, mood swings, basically, in simple terms, is that your mood is not stable. You're, you're happy today and sad tomorrow, and very be sad next tomorrow. Or you're sad today, or extremely excited tomorrow, and you're, you know, just might be happy next tomorrow. Next tomorrow. <laughs> so, if you have mood swings, um, your mood is not stable, right? You're just... Uh, constantly moving from one mood, swinging from one mood to another, from sad to happy to bad to angry and all that, and all of the different emotions. So, I want to talk about um, all that today. So, the next thing is um, why do we have mood swings? So, I think that there are lots of things that causes us to have mood swings. If you live in a country like Nigeria, you know, there are lots of news, new, the news could, you know, just make you move from feeling so so happy or excited about something to feeling sad so the news could actually have an impact in the way that you feel so if you're constantly listening to the news and you feel like you know you're just having mood swings right you may be you may want to watch the watch it maybe you're always constantly listening to the news you're watching the news and the news is having an impact in your mind you know it's you know, telling your mind telling you that oh, the things are not good things are actually not working fine um, these and these and these and these are happening so why should you feel happy right so um that could be one pointer to why you're having mood swings another thing that could cause um, mood swings or is stress so when you're stressed out you uh maybe you're naturally happy but because of the stress you weigh down and then you feel sad you feel tired and then your tiredness makes you feel you know, kind of like sad so um stress could also be something that we would cause mood swings. Another thing that could cause mood swings is um, change of diet. So you probably were um, had a particular diet and then you switched to another um, type of diet entirely. This could actually have a, an impact in the way that you feel. It could have an impact in um, the emotions that you're emitting. So another thing um, that another cause is um, physical health. So if your health is challenged, your physical health is challenged, um, then you could have mood swings. And then, just like physical health, another cause is mental health. So if your mindset is bogged down with you know, several challenges, or you're battling 
depression or something or a mental illness you could also tend to have mood swings so mood swing is also a mental health issue right so this could also um, have an impact on the wave so another one is um, the medication so there's some kind of medications that could just alter the trajectory of your mood alter the way that you feel so um, feeling a particular way and then you start um, taking some medications and you just start feeling another way and then maybe this today you feel this way tomorrow you feel that way so uh, medication um, could also have an impact on the way that you feel so if you're having mood swings you feel like your mood is not stable one minute you're happy the next minute you're sad so you feel like this is happening constantly you need to like okay figure out why am I having Am I watching too much news? Am I stressed? Am I um, going through with school health issue? Am I on some sort of medication that could alter my mood? So you need to, you know, check out all of these things because these things could be pointers to, you know, um, the way that you feel, the mood that, the basically the way that you feel, right? Mood swings could also be um, from stem from a hormonal imbalance. So you are having hormonal imbalance, or for some ladies. Um, going through their monthly menstruation period, um, you could also, you know, be impacted by, you could also have um, your mood swinging, you know, from sad to happy and all of that, different emotions in, in one, you know. So, um, these are all things that could actually impact your mood, right? So, mood swings sometimes could be natural and um, sometimes it's inevitable. But if you find out that you know, your mood is not stable for a very long period of time, uh, like one minute you're really really angry and the next minute you're happy and you want to have fun you want to play you know it's and you find that happening constantly over time over time constantly you need to consult your physical or mental health um care so that you could um, find out what the actual curse is so that it doesn't spiral into something else because mood swings are actually um could actually spiral into something else so mood swings could also be like you know something that a bigger thing, a bigger thing that could be impacting your health, your mental or physical health, and you are just reacting with that mood swing. So there may be something, maybe a psychological or physical disorder, and you are reacting by having this different emotion to one. So it's very, very important that if you find out that you're constantly um, having these different emotions, having mood swings constantly, you um, seek help immediately. So in another video, I'm going to talk about how to manage mood swings, how to manage it. You may know. I hope that um, you love this video. I hope that it helps. Let me know if it does by liking and commenting what your thoughts are in this video. And don't forget to share this video with your friends as well. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video. Next time that I drop the content on how to uh, manage mood swings. So, until next time that I come your way again, my name is Juliet Israel. I am a mindset coach. Bye.